Today, we are staging another important event of World Economic Forum. The annual meeting of new champions, providing an opportunity for WEF members and partners to refresh themselves and to take stock of the outcomes of meetings and relevant actions in the first half of the year. In the communication with many corporate executives in China, summer doubles often becomes the focus of discussion. I believe that the real value of becoming a member of WEF lies in joining hand in hand with like-minded leaders and companies to continuously improve the state of the world and promote prosperity of countries while improving organizational efficiency, stimulating the organizational vitality, and promoting organizational development. The meeting of new champions is an important milestone in that journey, of course. It will help leaders gathered here to take better informed decisions. The meeting is a continuation of many of the discussions we had in Davos and a continuation of our important work in many areas but it is different from the rest of our activities in several ways. First, we have purposely positioned the annual meeting of new champions to be the foremost global summit for the next generation of multinational companies. This means our efforts are particularly directed towards those disruptive corporations. These are the companies which lead the fourth industrial revolution and are creating the most jobs. Second, this meeting is not a regional meeting on China, but a global meeting on innovation. It is inherently future-looking. Here you will meet the young generation of leaders who are driving change, young scientists, technology pioneers, young global leaders, and global shapers. That is why this, the theme of this year's annual meeting is so important, achieving a inclusive growth in the fourth industrial revolution. Together with the next generation, we need to determine how technology can empower people rather than replace them, how technology can serve society rather than tear it apart. Too often, leaders have neglected the human and societal impact of technology, focusing only on economic impact and profit maximization. A truly human-centered model of economic growth should be guided by moral and ethical considerations that are shared by multiple stakeholders. If not, the fourth industrial revolution could increase social marginalization, exacerbate income inequality, and undermine fundamental human relationships. Achieving the former and averting the latter is why nearly 2,000 business leaders, policymakers, and experts have come together here in Dalian for the next three days. My Chinese teacher used to teach me one sentence, make friends first before you do business. Is this captures my hope for you as participants. Of course you're here to network, to do business, and to gain new insights. But what makes the World Economic Forum so unique as a platform is that it is made up of communities of like-minded leaders who want to work together to improve the state of the world. In the next three days, I hope you can go beyond background and cultural differences and experience the strong cohesion of a globalized community. Leaders present here are capable of changing the overall economic landscape, of mitigating climate change, and of creating a more inclusive and equitable world. Yes. The journey of reform is full of difficulties. But there's also a Chinese saying, more friends make the journey easier. I hope you will make more new friends who will make the journey to prosperity easier during your stay in Dalian. 
Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming Mr. Chen Qiufa, Governor of Liaoning Province. Thank you. Distinguished guests, ladies, gentlemen, friends, good morning. In this beautiful summertime, World Economic Forum Annual Meeting of New Champions 2017 convenes today. Once again, the world shifts its attention to China, to Liaoning Province, to Dalian City. Hereby, on behalf of Mr. Li Xi, Party Secretary of CPC Liaoning Provincial Committee, Liaoning Provincial Government, and 43 million people of Liaoning Province, I would like to express the greatest congratulations to the opening of the forum. And I would like to extend my warmest welcome to all leaders, distinguished guests, and friends. Currently, we are facing the rising tides of fourth industrial revolution. On the opening ceremony of World Economic Forum Annual Meeting 2017, President Xi Jinping stressed that innovation is the primary force guiding development. He pointed out that the fourth industrial revolution is unfolding at an exponential rate. Themed with achieving inclusive growth in the fourth industrial revolution, today's forum has gathered elites at home and abroad to conduct extensive exchanges and in-depth discussions on new driving forces for sustainable development, actively finding new ways to achieve inclusive growth along the way. Such intellectual clashes will contribute great ideas for transformation, which are significant for facilitating healthy development of the forced industrial revolution and achieving inclusive growth. Practical experience proves that technological change resulted by the Industrial Revolution will provide long-lasting drive for human progress. In the future, we must consider the comprehensive development of human being and the capacity of natural environment while promoting the Industrial Revolution. In the end, by achieving inclusive growth and scientific development, we shall create more and better human civilizations together. As a time-honored industrial base, Liaoning Province has been blessed with heightened attention from CPC Central Committee and the State Council. In recent years, the central government has come out with a series of policies to give full support in the renewed revival strategy. At present, Liaoning's economic situation regained stability after hitting the bottom and is showing benign trends which boost our confidence for future development. Liaoning will commit itself to improving the quality and efficacy of its economic growth. Focusing on supply-side structural reform, Liaoning will implement the action guideline of Liaoning Province on Made in China 2025 in order to nurture new growth drivers and revitalize the physical economy. We are going to use new technology and new business models to transform traditional industries and build internationally competitive advanced equipment manufacturing base, major te technical equipment strategic base, national new raw material base, modern agricultural production base, and important te technology innovation and research base. Liaoning shall revitalize its development in a more open environment. Further opening up initiatives include actively integrating into the Belt and Road Initiative, Beijing Tianjin Hebei Coordinated Development and Belt Strategy, developments on Liaoning Free Tree Zone Pilot, Shenyang Dalian National Independent Innovation Demonstration Zone, Shenyang National Comprehensive Innovation Reform Trial Zone, and Dalian Financial Inclusion New Area shall be accelerated. We shall use reform to facilitate opening up and step up efforts on reforming key areas and procedures, truly giving the market the decisive role in resource allocations and enabling the government to play a better role. Premier Li Keqiang 
has stressed many times that conducive business environment is a production force. Liaoning will strive to build a better investment environment, fully deepen administrative and institutional reform, transform government function, reinforce protection of intellectual pro properties, provide a level playing field in order to make the market more transparent, organized, and more dynamic. Distinguished guests, ladies, gentlemen, friends, as host, we should do our best to serve you well and strive to make the forum a grand international event with timely features, rich contents, and numerous investment opportunities in Liaoning so that you can enjoy an enriching and fruitful experience here. Last but not least, I would like to wish the forum a great success. Thank you very much. Distinguished heads of states, distinguished ministers, ladies, gentlemen, friends, let's welcome founder and executive chairman of World Economic Forum, Professor Klaus Schwab, and His Excellency Li Keqiang, Premier of People's Republic of China.